An Oakland man who barricaded himself inside his house in East Oakland was found dead inside Wednesday after police stormed the house in a flash emitting grenades and tear gas. The man, who identity hasn't been released yet, was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, said Danielle Ashford, spokeswoman for the Oakland Police Department. Members of the Oakland Police Special Weapons and Tactics team sealed off the area around the 1000 block of 107th Avenue around 5 p.m. Wednesday afternoon after a crime reduction team attempted to serve a warrant on the suspect's house. Police ordered area residents to shelter in place. Officers reported hearing a gunshot after the man's father fled the house. About half an hour after hearing the shot, police stormed the house. The suspect, described as 30-year-old Latino male, was wanted in connection with the killing of 25-year-old Ulises Pineda, who was shot and killed on September 4th on the 1000 block of 107th Avenue, Ashford said. It was a shrine for Pineda at the corner of 94th and 8th Street where a wave of violence culminated with the shooting of six people on Monday night. Six others were shot near the intersection of 82nd and Bancroft Avenue about 90 minutes prior. A total of three people died, including a 32-year-old Hugo Cruz. The shootings followed the burial ceremonies of Pineda, a known Border Brother gang member, and Alfonso Ramirez, 21, a suspected member of the Sureño gang member from Hayward. Both were being buried at the exact same time at a cemetery in Hayward. Police said some of Pineda's associates flashed gang signs, prompting a confrontation at the cemetery that led to gunfire. A third family joined the two others already in mourning Tuesday after a 13-year-old boy died from gunshot wounds suffered in a bloody afternoon of gang-related violence the day before. Police blame ongoing feud between rival Sureño and Border Brother gang for the back-to-back -back shootings. Monday, they left the boy and two others dead and nine men wounded. The latest victim, Hugo Cruz, 13, died from his injuries at Highland Hospital on Tuesday morning. 19-year-old Judy Abate, the mother of a two-year-old girl, and 32-year-old Nestor Molina died Monday night at the hospital. Cruz, Abate, and four others had returned from a Hayward funeral of a suspected Sureño when the blue Lincoln they were in was raked by gunfire from a passing car near 82nd and Bancroft Avenue just before 5 p.m. All were hit, including Abate's 21-year-old husband, Gabriel Mendez, who was driving but was able to make it to Highland Hospital. In a possible act of retaliation, another round of gunfire on 94th and 8th Street two hours later left Molina dead and five others wounded. They were gathered at a street shrine for a suspected Border Brother member who had been killed September 3rd and whose funeral was also Monday at the same Hayward Cemetery. They were only a few yards apart. Police added extra patrols Tuesday night in an effort to thwart further violence from the ongoing dispute. Investigators suspect Monday's violence in Oakland might be linked to a gunshot-filled confrontation early in the day at a Hayward Cemetery where two men associated with Border Brothers and Sureños were being buried, coincidentally at the exact same time. One of the burials was for Al Alfonso Ramirez, 21, a construction worker and suspected Sureño from Hayward. The other was for a reputed Border Brother, Ulises Boo Boo Pineda. Police said some of Pineda's associates began flashing gang signs that prompted the confrontation. Police would only say those killed and wounded in Monday's violence were associated with two gangs. The victims in the first shooting had been at the service, as had some of the men wounded later on 94th Avenue, which is a known Border Brother area. The second shooting, which occurred at 6.52 p.m., may have been in retaliation for the first. Two of the men wounded on 94th told police they used to be gang members but had not been involved in some time. One of them said he had gone to the funeral of Pineda and later came to 94th Avenue to drink beer in his memory. Now, to piece everything together and uh, put everything in focus, well, the way, the way the story went is that the guy who, the, the guy who committed uh, suicide had killed his friend. They were like in, uh, selling drugs together. Um, there was a dispute. Uh, he, he shot his friend, killed him. Yeah, police had a warrant. They went to go look for him. And uh, he barricaded himself and then shot himself, right? He murdered himself. He committed suicide. So they, they, have, they later have a funeral for Boo Boo, right? For Piñera. So they later have a funeral for Piñera. And um, that's where you get the confrontation. Um, they start flashing gang signs at each other and um, someone pulls out a gun and starts shooting and everybody scatters, right? So everybody goes back to their neighborhood. Um, but at this uh, freeway 
exit at the intersection they they see the border brothers see a car that they saw at the at the funeral they belong to the sureños so they had they had guns and they like a uzi from what i understand and they, they shot the car up and they shot the little boy the 13 year old boy killed him all right i think later that day or the next day they had a they were all hanging out on 94th and 8th street um morning Pineda, right so the sureños passed by there and um started shooting and kill a border brother now this border brother um uh, from what I understand, had a twin. So he lost his, not only his brother, but he lost his twin. And I think that's where, that's where it ended. You know, was, you know, an eye for an eye. So yeah, um, to me that's one of the craziest gang war stories I ever heard of. But um, if you have anything better, well not better, but if you have anything that matches it, or even worse, just let me know.